Ooh, what's up guys and of course welcome to another video from me this calendar and today we're going to make of course another discussion video of course we're going to use smog on to kind of enforce our beliefs and uh, basically today we're going to talk about uh, if machamp had a few moves where to make it just as good as conqueror these two are actually really fun to compare against one another because just looking at their stats you will see that they share a lot of traits. And I mean a lot of traits, I mean like a lot. Um, look at the HP just start off with. Um, Machamp has 90 base, 105, 140 attack from, of course, the Conqueror, while Machamp has 130. Now, defense is air where it kind of starts splitting up a bit. Um, Machamp has 80, while I do believe Conqueror is 95, so quite a lot defensive. Nobody cares about special attack, but um, special defenses on Conqueror. Is 65 while um, Machamp is a bit better on that with 20 base extra and of course 10 base is faster. So, uh, without further like discussing it, Conkelder is a superior tank between these two, um, can take a lot more hits while well, it's as especially defensive as the one of Machamp. So, one would believe that a Saltfest Machamp would be the superior choice, and while I want to agree here. I also know that the thing that makes Conkledur so good with the likes of Assault Vest is because of one thing, actually. The Dream Punch. Yeah, it is really that simple. They both have, of course, the Guts, which makes them really good to switch in on potential status hitters, like, for example, Rotom, who would rather go for Will-O-Wisps and stuff like that. Um, Conkledur has Iron Fist, which is not really helping a whole lot, while... I believe Machamp has the No Guard, which is extremely useful since it has access to Stone Edge, Dynamic Punch. Uh, it could work against it, but really, it's really <laughs> that way. And of course, um, Conqueror has Shear Force, which actually helps it somewhat if you want to use Life Orb on it. While I do believe Machamp has Steadfast, yeah, uh, not so cool. I do believe it raises its speed when it flinch. Yes, there we go. So, maybe not the coolest. <laughs> but yeah, what I wanted to talk about, because these two share a lot of, of course, um, traits. They both have access to the likes of Knockoff. They both have priority of Machamp having Bullet Punch, while Ma Mag Punch is on the Conkeldur. They have access to all the punch moves, and actually they share a lot of moves. Now, I do believe Machamp has a superior fighting stab choice with, like I said, Dynamic Punch. Uh, close combat cross shop. While I do believe Conkelder's only real hit is Dream Punch, actually, which is a very, very good move, mind you, with that base attack 140. It does have access to superpower, but that's kind of redundant when you look at its defenses. You don't want to screw that up. Uh, so, Dream Punch is really, really good. And like I said there, the Assault Vest on Conkelder is really, really nice. Even with resisted hits, it has enough power to break things apart. And um, I actually think, and um, this is actually the reason I'm asking honestly, uh, would Machamp be OU if it had the likes of Mag Punch, or Mag, not Mag Punch, Dream Punch? Uh, would it have made that much difference? I firmly want to believe so. I I was a bit on edge on you know stating this, but as the time went on, it kind of hits me that um, Machamp has, you know, a lot of things going for it, but <laughs> recovery is not one of them. And since it's a bit faster than the Conqueror, it would have been able to utilize that more. Now, mind you, had you gone for a gut set Machamp and it had access to the like of Drain Punch, it would basically be a uh, specially defensive Conqueror. Uh, it would not have been that more much more unique. So it would either be if you want something more special defensive or something more defensive, then that would be your options. So that's something to keep in mind and something I firmly believe is the reason why Conqueror is so much better than Machamp is the simple fact that it has some kind of recovery and of course the access of course being a pretty decent wall breaker. It hurts a lot. It takes care of a lot of potential stops and tanks on it. So um, yeah, this will be all for the video. So not really so in-depth today. Like I said, I really just wanted to ask you guys, would Machamp have been an OU Pokemon had a god access to the likes of Drain Punch? I think, I firmly believe so. Like I said, I don't... I think it's that simple. Shear Force is not that unique on... Uh, 
um, Conkle Dirk. Well, it's a nice niche. It's still not the most unique thing. The best thing Conkle Dirk got going for is guts. And since Machamp actually already got that, No Guard is, of course, the superior choice with the likes of No Guard uh, making Stone Edge hit, making potential Fire Blast hit, which actually been kind of okay in OU. And, of course, uh, the Dynamic Punch, which makes Machamp so good, so clever, and so hard to deal with as a switch in. So anyway guys, one of, that's really all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I'm left with some um, some good thoughts here. And even if I didn't, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> this is a thing that's really just have been bugging me, much like the free alligator gyro situation, where they share so much trades, but one is definitely worse than the other. Um, but it's not by much, and that's what makes these Pokemon so unique, and that's why I like to actually compare them. And next video, we're going to talk about Slowbro and Slowking, which also is a video I think you guys will appreciate a lot. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye.